On this tutorial, I will be explaining about how to do subsurface scattering in Radiant Pro Render for Maya. Before we start, I would like to thank Kota Kasahara for sharing the model for, with us for the tutorial. Follow him on his art station for more amazing works. So let's get started. First, apply Uber material on the object and create IBL and direction lighting which is facing toward the camera. After that, start an IPR render. Inside Uber material, put back scattering weight to 1 and enable separate backstair color and subsurface. So after that, I uh, will connect the subsurface texture to the backscatter in color. Reason why we enable separate backscatter color is because when raising backscatter to 1, you will no longer see diffuse color. And you can see the difference by disabling separate backscatter color, which turns everything to white. So, Enabling separate backscatter color is a way to get material you need. As you can see, the scattering looks too strong, that they do not look like a human skin. In order to get a human skin material, you will need to create a weight map for backscattering weight, which is something like this. Once applied on the backscattering weight, any dark part that you do not want strong subsurface will be lowered, while the white area, especially the ear, will show higher subsurface result. I will now connect the weight map on the backscattering weight. After completing this, you may wonder what the subsurface uh, parameters is really for. They are for how far backscatter has to be strong depending on the white area. Let me show you how subsurface parameter affects the current result. So right now all the radius number are different, so I will change all to 1 and change the subsurface color white. If you change this to 0 0.1, you can notice that strong backscatter becomes darker. You can adjust the parameter to show stronger or weaker subsurface. That will be all for this part of the tutorial. Thank you for watching.